Hello, hi everyone. My name is Dr. Sana Khan, your biology expert, and you're watching our app InstaPrep. So, in this video, we are going to cover about the cause of cancer and oncogene. So, if you have not watched the previous video, please go there and do watch where, where we have talked about the two types of tumor, the stages of cancer, metastasis, angiogenesis, and many more things. So, without wasting time, let's talk about the causes of cancer. See, in the initial video, I told you that a normal cell changes into cancerous cell, right? So now we'll understand what happens into our normal cell that it changes into cancerous cell. See, any cell, unless and until it undergoes certain changes, and that's changes, you can call them as mutation. So for a cell to become a cancerous cell, it has to form, it has to undergo numerous changes. That is, it has to undergo multiple mutation. And until and only it, until and only it undergoes multiple mutation, then only it will change into a cancerous cell. So mutation. So once the mutation happens in the cell, so now what the, what uh, there would be changes in the cell is the cell will go, grow uncontrollably. It will grow as uncontrollably means it will not multiply into arithmetic or geometric pro progression. Means where one cell divides and form two, then two their cell divides in, and form four. It will not divide like that. It will divide uncontrollably. Why? Because the cell has undergone cancerous changes plus it will become immortal okay so the mutations so the mutations why does the mutations happen in our cell mutations are caused by substances which are called as carcinogens what are they called they are called as carcinogens so carcinogens are the cancer causing agent so what are these these are cancer causing agent which causes mutation in our cells dna so these are the cancer causing factors which causes mutation in dna so now these carcinogens could be physical it could be chemical or it could be biological okay so carcinogens could be physical chemical or biological so let us talk about these three in detail so let us first see what could be the physical mutations so physical mutations would are those agents sorry uh, i think it has gone like very fast so physical mutations are these agents which damage the dna and also cause misreading right obviously see when it is damaging the dna then dna is not reading properly not reading properly means the codes which are there on the dna they are not reading properly transcription is not taking place properly so what could be the physical mutations the first one is ionizing radiations that is x-rays gamma rays that is why we say now we have to avoid unnecessary x-rays because these are the these rays can harm our body these rays can produce changes in our dna then non-ionizing radiation that is uv rays uh, like obviously we are exposed to UV rays, but we still need to protect us from these UV rays because they are also harmful and natural mineral fibers like asbestos can even lead to the uh, changes in DNA. So what are the examples of physical mutations? Examples are ionizing radiations that is X-rays, gamma rays, non-ionizing radiation that is UV rays and natural mineral fibers that is asbestos. Now, coming to the chemical mutations. So, what could be the chemical mutations examples? Let us see. So, the first one over here is benzopyrene. Now, where do you find this benzopyrene? It is found in coal tar and cigarette smoke. Okay. So, the ones who uh, smoke a lot has a chance of developing a uh, cancer, which could be because of benzopyrene. So it gets attached. What happens when benzopyrene gets developed in your body? It gets attached to the guanine and prevents its proper base pairing with cytosine. I hope you know that guanine always pair up with cytosine, right? And adenine pair up with thiamine. So now this coal tar doesn't allow the guanine, the G, to pair up with C. Okay, so there is a misreading, right? And it could lead to cancer. Another reason would be vinyl chloride, which is found in plastics. Uh, because it's made up of PVC and you know that plastics are very harmful to our body. It's obviously said that the, uh, you should not use plastics to store anything, you know, uh, because it can create a chemical, it can produce a chemical which can harm your body. Then comes the aflatoxin, which is found in molds or fungi, heterocyclic amides, which are found in overcooked food and dyes like ethidia bromide. So these are the chemical mutations which can lead to cancer in your body.
okay so we are done with the physical mutagens we are done with the chemical mutagens and now we have to talk about the biological mutation see when we talk about biological mutation what are we telling you what are we talking about obviously it's viral and bacterial bio means life so obviously here there would be certain viruses and bacteria which could lead to cancer right so viruses can transform our normal cells to cancer cells by various different mechanism so if a particular virus uh, which causes cancer goes into our body it can change our normal cell to cancer cell so what are the virus causing human cancer are the first one is the papilloma virus which is uh, which is a common reason for cervical cancer in women then hepatitis b virus that is a common uh, that is a reason for liver cancer then t lymphocytic virus that could be the reason for lymphoma okay so there are certain viruses which once enters into your body i'm not saying that they, if they enter into your body then 110% they are going to cause cancer but yes they are one of the reasons for viral cancer okay they are one of the reason they are one of the carcinogens which can uh, lead to cancers in your body so papilloma virus can lead to cervical cancer hepatitis b virus can lead to liver cancer t lymphocytic virus can lead to lymphoma So Harar uh, Zur Hussain got Nobel Prize in Medicine for identifying papilloma virus as the cause of cancers because cervical cancer at the initial they were very 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 common in women. So he was the one who identified about the cause of papilloma virus. Okay. So bacteria. Now let us see which are the bacteria which are associated with cancer. Then it's Helicobacter pylori. What is it? It's Helicobacter pylori. which is one of the common reason for stomach cancer this is also a reason for uh, you know producing ulcers in your body this bacterial infection also produces ulcers are you clear about the causes of cancer everybody yes so we have talked about that the normal cell undergoes certain changes there is a certain multiple mutations which takes place in the dna and it changes into cancerous so the things which uh, which causes these mutations are called as carcinogens so there are physical carcinogens chemical carcinogens and viral and bacterial carcinogen which are together called as biological so let us study about the oncogene that is the next part of the video so gene cancer gene can be categorized as oncogene see first try to understand this each and every cell has that gene in our body okay everybody of us everybody of us has a proto oncogene can you see in the image see this is a dna okay this is a dna there is a gene called as proto oncogene where is my arrow okay see i'll just use the pointer to be uh, visible see this is a normal cell normal cell ka dna dikhaya hua hai then dna is having a gene which is called as proto oncogene so whenever any cancer causing agent fall on it this proto oncogene proto oncogene has an ability to turn into activated oncogene and because of that activated oncogene in dna now the cell this cell which was first normal is going to turn into the cancerous cell is it clear so uh, these uh, like the carcinogens have an ability to turn the proto oncogene into oncogene and we all have proto oncogenes in our body so what we can do is to prevent cancer is to stay away from carcinogens yes okay so that's all about your um, uh i mean to say about carcinogens and onco genes so that's all about this video we'll soon meet up with the next video where we are going to talk about clinical features and treatment don't miss that video see if feeling like you okay usme sirf treatment hai but yes treatment has many times comes in your neat exam so do watch that video till then bye take care study hard work for your dreams bye